Congratulations on your new building project. The fact that you are visiting our website tells me your ministry is growing and you need to build. Exciting days for you and your ministry. I'm sure your future looks bright. I just want to let you know that there are some challenges you may face when planning to build. Here are some examples of the pitfalls and landmines you may face as you turn your dream into a reality. A church in the southeast United States hired architects to design the building and they spent $800,000 for a set of plans. Unfortunately, the plans were over-designed, too expensive to build, and had to be scrapped. An additional $500,000 was spent on new plans. One church in the Northwest bought land that required nearly double the purchase price to bring just one utility to their new property. Still, another church failed to build after investing well into six figures during the planning and design phase because they did not count the cost correctly. The construction team left part of the site cost out of the project budget. Poor planning killed this project. The church lost their pastor, and they have not built to this day. The average tenure of a pastor after the completion of a building program is approximately 18 months. Yet we as leaders often get the blame, but it's not always our fault. Formal education and undergrad and seminary, they can't possibly cover all important topics. Your formal education is not the end of your education, it is the beginning of your education. What you need once you are in the pastorate is continuing education. We need what is often lacking and referred to as OJT, on-the-job training. It has been estimated by the construction industry that a million-dollar commercial project in the United States is costing $1.1 million when completed, and this is with professionals doing the projects. Now, when you look at pastors, and we're ill-equipped and prepared in our education, to handle a million dollar project and you wonder why somewhere around 70% of the time when a church plans to build, they fail. We aren't stupid, we're just uninformed. You don't know. It's difficult to avoid what you don't know. Why do projects fail? Do you know when not to build? How to select the right property? Do you know how to select the right people from your congregation to serve on your construction team? Do you know how to select the right industry professionals? Do you know how to select your congregation or lead them through a project? How to raise the money needed for the project, to borrow the money, and to get that coveted yes from the lender that you want to borrow money from? Do you know what to build next or how much you should spend on the project? And what is a fair price for the cost of your project? You can avoid these mistakes that I've listed and find the answers to these questions. Years ago, I traveled on a mission trip to Europe and spent a week or so in Germany. It didn't take long for me to understand that I needed two things, a translator and a navigator. A translator to help me understand, translate into English for me, the signs on the road, in the bus stops, on the train stations, in the museums, in the stores, in the restaurants, uh, and when I attended and preached in church, I needed a translator, and then I needed a guide, a navigator, to help me find my way through a foreign country. When it comes to construction and churches, often for churches, they're in a foreign country trying to understand a foreign language and a foreign culture, and we'd like to be your guide and your translator to help you safely navigate your way through your process. I have prepared for this opportunity to lead your church through these webinar trainings my entire adult life. I'm Marshall Shannon with Ministry Design Training. For 18 years I pastored the same church through five different building programs and two relocations. I made plenty of mistakes along the way and I learned a lot of valuable lessons. I would have given anything to have had the continuing education I'm offering you while I was pastoring. It would have saved me so much heartache, headache, and trouble. I went from pastoring one church through multiple building projects 
to pastoring multiple churches through their building projects. I had the privilege of working for two national church builders as a project consultant. I now work as an independent project consultant, serving only the interest of Christ and His Bride, while I work with numerous architects, builders, and other industry professionals. I have overseen millions of dollars in projects. I have saved churches millions of dollars in the process. My mission and goal at Ministry Design Training is to serve 25,000 churches over the next decade. If I serve them one at a time, I can only help a handful. But with the technology that is available to us today, I have the opportunity to serve thousands of churches. My method to impact these 25,000 churches in the next decade is using a series of webinar recordings I have developed along with support documents called Preparing to Build. We use the technology available to make uh, the information accessible to you 24-7, 365. You can get to it on your timeline, and your leaders can, easy enough. I've been taught that 80% of subscribers get the information they need to move their projects ahead successfully. So it appears that I can meet 80% of the church's needs simply by providing them with the recorded webinars, support documents, and other information that we're providing you. So, what do you get when you subscribe to Ministry Design Training? We've broken the series, Preparing to Build, into six parts. The first part is pre-construction. In this five-part series, we give you an overview from start to finish. Oh, folks, if I had only had that when I went through my building programs as a senior pastor. So you can see the starting line and the finish line and every mile marker all the way along the way. Secondly, we give you help for getting your house in order. Thirdly, how to build your your construction team, your design and construction team, and blend them with your building committees and your building team. We then deal with planning and design, and last we deal with, des- with construction and facility management. Part two of the Preparing to Build series, we help you develop your building committee, how to structure your building committee, how to select your members, and how to develop job descriptions and assign them and oversee them as they carry out their work together. Part three, we deal with industry professionals. How to select your delivery system. How do you engage with industry professionals? How to select your architect and your builder. Part five is master planning. An overview, answering what is it, when is it, where is it, who is it, what is required of you and how do you do it, and what are you going to get and what might it cost. Secondly, with master planning, we're going to deal with the preparation and performance of your master plan. And then we're going to deal with two issues that need to be dealt with that often are just left out. One is the design decisions that you're going to have to make as you start on your journey towards your uh, design phase. And secondly, is the understanding that you're going to have to live with your design decisions for years to come. So you need to weigh those decisions as to how it's going to affect your ministry over the next 40 years. Part 5, we deal with other major concerns, such as, when do you know when it's time not to build? Why do projects fail? How do you secure the right property for your ministry? How do you renovate your buildings? And Part 5, is tutorials. We've taken all the support documents we've provided for you and put them into 11 to 12 different categories and giving you a tutorial of how to use them, understand them, so that you can take what we're teaching you, the concepts, the principles, uh, the processes, and you can implement them. How do you put the information into action so you can take the idea to build and implement it So the end result is an eternal impact on your community and world through the use of your building. So what are you going to get? You're going to get all of this support to help you move your ministry forward. This is a lot of information, and it has great value. 
but you may be asking yourself, what will this cost me? As a pre-construction navigator, I would charge approximately 3% of a project. For instance, a million dollar project would cost the church about $30,000 for them to engage with me and to get my services one-on-one -on -one as a pre-construction navigator. If you choose to hire me by the hour instead, I would charge approximately $150 an hour. But then I ask you, how many hours do you think I'd have to invest in your ministry and your project to safely navigate you through your project? And the answer is a lot. As you can see, it's not affordable for a lot of churches. It's been stated that 80% of the churches in America have under 200 people in attendance. With that being the case, we needed to find a way to allow more churches, those churches and then medium-sized churches, 200 to 400 people in attendance, to be able to take advantage of my expertise and the expertise of dozens of other industry professionals, hundreds of years of experience and knowledge and expertise to help you safely navigate your way through your project. So how can we put the expertise within reach of everyone? There is a better way. At $97 per person per month as a subscription fee, we can come alongside churches and your leaders to help you navigate your way safely through your construction project. This way is less expensive than traditional consulting, but there are costs that are involved in providing this online consulting service. There are design fees and hosting and software and support and staffing and a host of other expenditures that we have occurred in putting together this site for you so that you can safely navigate your way through your project. Ministry design training is my full-time job, my full-time ministry. It's how I provide for my fam family and my staff and meet the cost of the expenses of running the ministry design training. It takes a lot of money, a great deal of money to develop it, and it takes a great deal of money to maintain it. Therefore, I can't afford to give it away for free. And down the road, as my expenses increase, I may have to raise my price but I can lock you in at $97 a month. When you stop to consider the cost of one month's subscription compared to the overall cost of your project, it is really a small investment that will produce a huge return for your ministry by protecting your ministry and providing you with the needed information so that you can successfully navigate your way through your project. But wait, there's more that I want to provide for you along with the webinars and the industry professionals helping me produce these. As a subscriber, you get the ability to ask questions online. Secondly, you're allowed to participate with regular live webinars question and answer time. Thirdly, we're developing a frequently asked questions section of our website to allow you to look in one spot and see in an organized way questions that you and others have asked and what the answers are. Additionally, we want to provide some bonus content from interviews with industry professionals. From time to time, we'll pick a topic, we'll contact a different in industry professional, ask them questions, interview them, and also we'd like to have them live from time to time to help answer your questions. Next, we'd like to provide up-to-date development and changes in the industry so that our, our information, our data, does not go out of date. We're allowed technology allows us to replace it. We provide support documents with tutorials to help you know how to put them to use. We also provide resource materials, websites, tools, and much more. So I have to ask myself, as I provide this for churches and for pastors, what can I do next? Well, I can give you a guarantee. If after your first two months you don't think I delivered value, I will refund your money. At $97 per person per month, you can see that it would become expensive to include your building committee in the training process. So the second thing I want to offer you is to offer to your entire building committee access to the ministry design training for only $149 a month per church. That means that you 
and everyone that you want involved in your building committee and your process will have access to the information just like you do as an individual for $149 a month. I can keep the cost low. This is a no-risk offer to strengthen and protect your ministry and congregation through your next building program. Here's another thing I know that I can do for you. You can cancel your subscription at any time. No long-term contracts. You're not required to sign your life away or your money away for six months or a year or longer. You can cancel at any time. If you cancel within the first 30 days, where it's one penny for you to try to subscribe to us for the first month, I'll even return your penny. So, here's my call to action for you. Remember the average tenure of a senior pastor after a building program is 18 months. Don't lose your ministry individually or your leadership credibility through failing to prepare correctly. This is on-the-job training that every pastor would be wise to partake of that will enrich your life, prepare your committee, and help you safely navigate your way through. So why take the risk of not subscribing? Only a penny to try out the subscription. So let me help you. Click the link at the bottom of the home page to subscribe today. <music>